is going to be phenomenal in a couple of ways. One is our other pastors in our local area are going to be in joining us. And you might even see a video presentation from uh, maybe some of them that can't be here with us. I know uh, Rudy and Francine Van Dierman in, in South Africa, they send their regards to you. They can't be there as well as the other churches that are down there. They wanted to be here, but finances right now just won't allow it. But what we can count on is this. If you will make the greatest effort of your life this week, like your life depended on it, to be to these services, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I promise you, your life will never be the same again. I promise you. Because as you put your all in it, you'll get all of his back. And I guarantee if one plus one equals two, there's got to be more happening to you. Amen. Praise God. Such a privilege this morning to welcome Brother Rob Sanchez, a prophetic man, as well as his wife, Anita. That she, I think, is joining us on Wednesday. And they're just a wonderful couple. And he has the Word of God today for you. Let's welcome him. He comes this morning. God bless you all. Okay, you're all way too quiet. God bless you. Amen. It's good to see each and every one of you. I honor the set man and the set woman of God, Pastor Johnny and Miss Patty Doris. I believe that we are in a perfect time, in a perfect place, in a perfect season for God to open our eyes, to cause our ears to be unstomped and begin to hear clearly what the word of the Lord is saying. And so I am here not just to preach. I am here to change an atmosphere that is in our lives to a greater dimension. I really believe that I'm not just here as a guest. I'm here because God sent me. And I believe that I have come to a time and a place in Ontario, California, because God wants to shift you. And if I could say this, I double red dog dare you to be obedient to what the man of God has declared to be over your life in this next week. Some of you heard it and already said, oh, I'm too busy. But when you're in trouble, what if he was busy to help you? What if you were in a time of crisis and then you said, well, pastor, I need you. He said, well, <laughs> it's after 12 o'clock on Sunday and I'm just a little too busy to hear your complaint right now. I'm too busy to hear your cry. I'm too busy to pray for your sick child. I'm too busy to pray for your man. I'm too busy. So if he becomes too busy, we would become mad at him. But why is it that we as ministers have to be full of grace to love you past your availability? You know what I realized? I realized this. When I want something bad enough in my life, I'm willing to sacrifice to get it. And so I am here to challenge you. I'm here to stir you. And yes, by the goodness of God, we will prophesy. Yes, by the goodness of God, uh, his glory will be released. Yes, by the goodness of God, there will be healings, miracles, signs, wonders. There will be transformations of life. But the greatest thing I am here to do is I'm here to provoke you, to cause you to have an appetite to go after something you want. I'll never hurt. I've, 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 let me say it right. I had a young man share at our youth group, a friend of mine, and this is what he said, and it was so powerful. He said, if you want something in life, he said, you better get up and go after it because no one's just going to give it to you. Can I say something about the church today? We just expect that God should give us something because we showed up. But the truth of the matter is, when you come to church, you didn't show up. You came with a purpose. And your purpose wasn't to sit, your purpose was to be involved. Well, how do you get involved in service? Can I tell you that everything that has breath must praise, praise the Lord? Lord? And so we often think the word is the greatest part of the service because God's going to give us something. 